Hello friends, in our MEVO class 4 orals, there are some questions asked on tapper clearance. First question, what is tapper clearance? Second question, conditions for taking tapper clearance. Third question, procedure for existing tapper clearance. Fourth question, what is the value of tapper clearance for inlet and exhaust walls? Fifth question, how to find which unit is a TDC? Sixth question, what if tapper clearance is more? Seventh question, what if tapper clearance is less? First question, what is tapper clearance? Tapper clearance is also known as wall clearance. The small gap between the rocker arm and the wall stump is called as tapper clearance. Second question, conditions for taking tapper clearance. Engine should be in the cold condition. Engine should be isolated completely. Fuel oil and lube oil should be shut. Remove the cylinder cover bonnet. Piston should be at TDC. Two pistons should be at TDC and check with firing order. Push rod should be free. If it is not free, that means second one is at the power stroke. Note down the clearance after taking the reading. When fuel cam is on peak, inlet and exhaust walls both will be in the closed condition. Third question. Procedure for adjusting the tapper clearance. Tap it setting. Rotate flywheel anticlockwise. Press first cylinder exhaust valve. Do tap it setting of third cylinder. Insert filler gauge of 0.30 mm for inlet valve. Loose nut. Tighten grub screw. And insert filler gauge. Note, filler gauge movements should not be more tight or loose. Tighten the nut by keeping filler gauge in insert position. Insert filler gauge of 0.40 mm for exhaust valve. Loose nut. Tighten grub screw and insert filler gauge. Note, filler gauge movement should not be more tight or loose. Tighten the nut by keeping filler gauge in insert position. Fourth question, what is the value of tapper clearance for inlet and exhaust walls? The tapper clearance for the inlet wall is 0.3 mm. The tapper clearance for the exhaust wall is 0.5 mm and it will be varying for engine to engine. Nowadays, in advanced engine, it will be same for both inlet and the exhaust walls. Fifth question, how to find which unit is at TDC? For four stroke engine, piston will be at TDC twice to complete one cycle. One is at injection as well other is at exhaust. The method to find which unit is at TDC are, first one is flywheel method, second one is crankcase method. Third one is fuel pump method. Fourth one is camshaft method. Fifth one is wall spring method. Sixth one is push rod method. Seventh one is pill timing method. Sixth question, what if tapper clearance is more? If tapper clearance is more, exhaust wall will open late and close early. Less removal of exhaust gases. Less energy is transferred to turbocharger resulting in scavenger reduction. Hence, turbocharger efficiency will decrease. Power decreases. Seventh question, what if tapper clearance is less? If tapper clearance is less, exhaust wall will open early and close lately. Power decreases, PCOM decreases and Pmax decreases. Burning of exhaust wall takes place. Turbocharger fouling. Exhaust temperature increases. Engine becomes in balance. Induced air throughout inlet wall may leak out. So, less air is available for the combustion. Thanks for watching. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe.